Let's move to the uh, French election. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what I really love before we get to the results? Uh, like after the polls showed that uh, that Le Pen was getting trounced, that's when uh, Barack Obama aired his uh, commercial supporting <laughs> her opposition, who, uh, who obviously won by big amounts. Uh, I'm surprised today the big story isn't Obama supported uh, uh, him and he won. They're smart enough not to go there, but I thought that's what they were setting us up for. Nonetheless, what's your take on the uh, not only the victory, but the huge victory? Yeah, I mean, Le Pen comes from such a fringe party. It is the most votes that party's ever gotten. So if you're worried about that party, you know, it's kind of amazing that 35 percent of the people would vote for, for her. I think she's a pretty disreputable candidate. I mean, not like Trump in the sense that Trump was the nominee of one of the two major parties. And even though people like me certainly weren't for him, you know, most Republicans, of course, you know, fell in line. They thought maybe correctly, that get a Republican administration, good Supreme Court picks and all that. Le Pen would be as if Pat Buchanan were running as a fourth party, you know, and suddenly made, made, made the final if we had a runoff system. So I wasn't that surprised. Uh, Chris Caldwell follows us for us. I always thought she'd have trouble getting about 40 percent, and she was short of that. I mean, I think I'd say two things. The populist, you know, sentiment around the world is real and shouldn't be dismissed just because of this one result. And the other thing, also an awful lot of voters who are – much more centrist, pragmatic, uh, worried about some of the populist um, fanning of resentment and some of the populist policies. And, and, and they count, too. There's a little bit of a trope on the right that sort of the, the real Americans, you know, who vote for Trump count and the other ones who voted for Clinton don't. But, of course, they all count. And um, you know, there are a lot of pragmatic, centrist people in Europe and in America. Uh, we can argue whether they're really pragmatic or whether the policies work or not, but that's kind of where they're inclined to be. So... I mean, the key thing is, can Macron shake up the economy a little bit and get the youth unemployment down from 23 percent or whatever? And, you know, I don't know how much he doesn't really have a party behind him. He's an independent. Right. It's as if, it's as if a Bloomberg type candidate had won, you know, in, in America. Can he actually bring in some decent policy changes? I, I have no idea.